Tony Fox took it up and heard it. He was the head of the label, and he said, this is magic. I haven't heard anything like this on the radio. You must put it on the album. I said, you're nuts. The guitars aren't even in tune. I'm stammering and doing bad band motion, motion impressions. I don't know what I'm doing. I, this isn't even a song. I haven't even written it. I'm just bl blurting out lyrics. And he said, no, it's charming. I I discovered Maggie May for Rod Stewart, and that shouldn't have been a single, because it was like seven and a half minutes long. Believe me, this will be a career song. And I said, what does that mean? He said, you'll be singing it every day of your life, and you'll be grateful to sing it every day of your life. That and taking care of business are going to be your songs. So uh, I relented and put it on the album, told him he was wrong. I thought it would never get any airplay. Um, it went to number one in 22 countries. It was BTO's only single million seller. We sold millions of albums, but this is like a real single. And got covered in uh, maybe 10 or 12 different languages. German, Bavarian, Finland, everybody did the 